Lesson C5, Intermediate Calculations, Topic 12, Worked Examples, Stepped. The learning objective for this topic is to understand how to force the stepping behaviour of a time series. So here I have a time series. It's one value per day, and when we plot it out the box, so to speak, we get this line drawn between each point. So if we were to say that these are forecast values, then in truth, the, the data should look like this. The value applies for the whole day until we get a new one, at which point it steps forward. Now in a trend, a chart, there's options to do this. For the second series in orange, what we do is we tell the chart to pull the raw data instead of interpolating, and we tell it to plot it by stepping after. That way we can make the chart display the data in the correct format. But what happens if we want to do a totalizer? In this case, the interpolation will be done at the server side before the chart receives the data. And so we need to tell the server how to treat the data. So in this case, we can wrap the tag in a stepped function. To do that, we use the calculation builder and we just choose stepped from the drop down, and then you only have one option, and that's the tag that you want to step. The stepping must be done on the raw tag itself. You can't, if you do it later in the calculation, it will be ignored. So if you totalize it and then try to step it, it won't work because you have to step the raw tag itself. And you can see here the impact that stepping has on that tag. Here by default, the server would assume interpolation, and yet when we wrap it in step, then it forces it to be this square function, this squared off view. So let's now look at the difference this makes to a totalization. Here I've used totalize2, and I've just totalized the tag without wrapping it in stepped. So this is totalizing the blue line here. If we do the same count, but we wrap the tag in stepped, so you can see here that the tag has this stepped around it, we get the dotted line. So we're now totalizing the orange stepped line. So you can see that over the course of a, a month, start with, it's obviously zero and it's accurate, but as we go through on the third day, there's a bit of an error appearing between the two. So the interpolated value is over reading the total and the step value is more is accurate it's got it exactly now as the value returns down actually the error kind of disappears again and we almost get to exactly the same value somewhere in the middle of day five or six but then then the the error tracks again the blue value is over reading a little the error disappears and then at the end the blue value actually starts under reading because it's a decreasing value so the error in this particular example is never great. We're looking at an error of somewhere around 1% or so. And that might be fine. It might be okay for a dashboard to be pretty much right. But there are cases where you want it to be exact. And in that case, it's good to know that there's functions in there that allow you to force this kind of behavior on the tags. This will become particularly relevant later when we look at reports where you're looking at very accurate numbers and steps becomes extremely useful if you if you need to match Excel spreadsheets or Power BI or other type of dashboards that have got SQL queries that are just adding up blocks of numbers. So, okay, that's an overview of the stepped function.